Tony Weston isn't the most conventional of Christians. As a child, he doggedly refused to go to Sunday school. In fact, it wasn't until he was 18 that he had any religious convictions at all. Nonetheless, Tony's the man who tonight will take on perhaps the most difficult and sensitive part in any religious play, that of Christ on his journey to Calvary. Under normal circumstances, Tony, a 26-year-old jeweller, whose only previous acting experience is that as an extra, would be taking a very different route. He'd be going to Upton Park to cheer on his local team, West Ham, in the second leg of their European Cup winner's semi-final tie against Eintracht. However, tonight, the spotlight will be on him. For the journey to Calvary East End style promises to be one of the most spectacular and dramatic theatrical events of the year. From the somewhat incongruous setting of tower blocks and council estates, it's expected that thousands of East Enders will line his four-mile route through the streets as he and a cast of 120 depict the story of Christ's betrayal, trials and eventual death on this specially erected cross at the Church of St Dunstan's. The East End staged a similar event three years ago. And the idea of it all is to take the church to the people, rather than have the people come to the church. So for three weeks now, the East End, not exactly famous for its ecclesiastical fanaticism, has been treated to scenes like this, as the interdenominational cast rehearse their parts. It's a sort of cockney godspell, in which both the dialogue and the cast reflect not only the story of Christ, but the modern East End. And directing them all, Jeremy Davis, once a local curate, now a university I'll chaplain. Take this scene from the entry of Judas into the circle of apostles who are asleep. Uh, G Jesus with his arms raised, yes, fine. Okay, over to you. Right now, Christ, surrounded by his disciples, is on his way to Beaumont Square, Stepney, which, for the purposes of the play, is doubling up as the Garden of Gethsemane. And it's here, of course, that after being greeted by Judas, he is betrayed and eventually arrested. Is all of your brains clean this time? Yeah, yeah. Arrest that man! Ah! They've called their play The Way of the Cross, and their way to the cross ironically leads the players through what for many people was the death of the East End the concrete jungle of giant tower blocks and anonymous council estates which dominate the skyline. However, if nothing else, these seemingly lifeless buildings do provide the perfect amphitheatre for a play like this. But is the East End itself a perfect setting? This is the part of England where there's been a stronger sense of community than anywhere else. And uh, people here are human. And God chose, actually, to come where men were. He didn't choose a beautiful place scenically. He came where men are and I think the East End is the ideal place really because uh, it's got a warmth and uh, it's the place after all where all the strangers who ever came to England first came to. All the immigrants always came up the river and landed here whether it was the Irish or the Jews or the Pakistanis or whatever. This was the place that gave them welcome so it's a good place. What do you think it will realistically achieve? always difficult to assess. What it'll achieve uh, is that it'll bring uh, into the streets of Stepney the real story of the gospel. And, you know, the church is always being knocked for being too aloof, uh, for telling people they've got to go into church. Well, we're bringing the church right out into the streets. Meanwhile, the long march to Calvary continues, and Christ, now accused of treason, is being escorted by a hefty guard of centurions. On the way, he passes a crowd of women, who, while dancing and singing, mock him and eventually dress him up as a clown king in a royal robe and a crown of thorns.
the way of the cross is nothing if not adventurous. For it's not just Tony who's had little acting experience. In real life, Pontius Pilate works for multiple tailors. Some of the Roman centurions are employed by a local brewery. And Simon of Serene is a road sweeper. Hardly then a great wealth of thespian talent. And bearing in mind that they've got to walk past most of the 30 pubs in the borough, wearing their religious costumes, neither are they guaranteed the most appreciative of responses. Indeed, on one rehearsal, they had eggs thrown at them. Well, I think in the East, if you go to church, they, they, they uh, look upon you as an oddity anyway, so I don't think it makes any difference. I play Mary, Mother of Christ. And how do you feel about that? Um, well, great. Until I was spoke to her recently about acting, I hadn't thought about it as acting. Um, just really, we want to show people what it was like in those days, and we hope that we're going to put it over like that, you know, and show that we had the feelings that people of today have when they're blown up in Ireland and, and over here too. I feel very much as she must have felt, because when he's knocked about, I, I feel like crying, and actually do cry in, in one of the scenes, you know. Not, um, not intentionally, it just sort of, it comes. Tony, the big night is not very far away. How are you feeling now? A little bit nervous now. You're beginning to get anxious about it, are you? Uh, a little bit, yeah. How does one begin to portray Jesus Christ? Well, I think that's the hardest thing, because I read, read through the four Gospels, and going through it, I'm really not quite sure even now how he really felt most of the time, but I get in the feel of the, uh, the guards punching me up a bit. This is very much a community activity. The cross was built by a local carpenter. Children from local schools have spent hours making banners and soldiers' spears. The local rag trade has donated leather and suede for the centurion's uniforms. And ingenious volunteers, working in the rectory kitchen, have used kitchen sink plungers and untwined rope to make the soldiers' helmets. But right now comes the most crucial test of all, the dress rehearsal, enacted as it will be tonight in darkness, and reaching its most dramatic moment as the torch-carrying centurions arrive in Calvary, where Tony, the Cockney Christ, is crucified. Thank you.